hey, do you love yourself? Do you love the planet? Do you want to know why it's extremely important for you to know about both of those things and how loving yourself can actually do something for the planet? And I just have to share with you this incredible giant puffball mushroom that was gifted for me today on International Peace Day while I'm doing this hypnosis meditation. This is a giant puffball edible mushroom. <laughs> I mean, it is so big that I couldn't even sit here. So I'm about to start a meditation. My name is Randy Light and I'm one of the One Million Meditator Ambassadors and I am honored to be sharing with you uh, some research behind loving yourself and loving the planet and what you can do to help change what has been happening, to change the direction. So we're gonna get started. I'm a hypnotist, I am a One Million Meditator ambassador, and today's message with the One Million Meditators is to love ourselves and love the planet. So welcome, thank you for joining me. I've gotta move this giant puffball so I can have a seat. Let me get this giant thing out of the way. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. And here we go. So there's a couple things I wanna share with you about loving yourself and loving the planet. And what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna share with you some of the research backing up what group meditation can do for the planet. I'm also going to guide everybody into hypnosis meditation. During that time, we will begin to vision the world the way we want it to be instead of where we fear it is going. There's a lot of research to justify the purpose of what is happening today. So if I want to just sidebar for a second, and if there is something that you like about Mother Earth, about the wild and weird and wonderful creatures, or if you wanna comment on that giant puffball, if you've ever eaten, or excuse me, eaten a giant, uh, a mushroom, a wild mushroom, you gotta know what your mushrooms are before you eat them. Let me just say a disclaimer, but share, comment right now. The more that you say something on this page, the more it gets spread around and more people will notice. Facebook will make sure of that. So say hello say where you're from, let us know that you are here and that you wanna be part of this International Peace Day and International Global Meditation. Say hello, I can't see you guys saying hello and send some of those bubbles across the screen. We love to hear those bubbles as well. Or excuse me, see those bubbles, like you know, click the like button or click the, click the love, love button and share it. Share this so that other people can be a part of this. So Buddha said, all that we are is a result of what we have thought. All that we are is a result of what we have thought. I personally believe, oh, there's some of the bubbles. Thank you, guys. I personally believe that that is twofold. All that we are as a result of what we have thought is personal for our own world and for the planet. So I'm gonna see if I can see, I can see the comments. So all that we are as a result of what we have thought is personal. So whatever we think, whatever we focus on adds energy. When we have an emotion combined with thoughts, it adds a lot of energy, whether positive or negative, it's like a catalyst. And we start to create or manifest what we want. We draw into our life either what we want or what we don't want with our 60,000 thoughts a day. Now, the other thing is, is that if all that we are as a result of what we have thought is global, a consciousness concept, then, what, then we are creating a global reality. And there's a lot of truth to that actually because when things start to change in the world, you know, our beliefs start to change. For example, there was a belief in the 1950s that if you ran a four minute mile, your heart would blow up. And then this doctor was, uh, he was in med school training to be a doctor and a runner and he decided that wasn't true and he proved it. He ran 
under a four minute mile, first time in history. And as soon as that took place, within two months, another person ran a four minute mile. And then it just now, it is a common thing that happens, a common everyday occurrence to run a four minute mile. But the global belief affected everybody. And once that started to change, then everybody started to change. So I wanna welcome all of these people whose names I can say, I've got uh, from people from Turkey, Belgium, welcome you guys. Now, we are going to bring our thoughts together today. And what's gonna happen when we bring our thoughts together is we're gonna be in a focused state. So I think of hypnosis as meditation with a goal. So it's very similar to brainwave state. So as I guide you, I'm gonna guide you today into a focused and relaxed state where you're more open and receptive, where I can deliver suggestions and you can visualize and materialize. Our brainwaves are gonna be cycling together because we're all gonna be in this focused state which affects the field. Now, our hearts are also going to be in coherence. And it's very similar to brain waves and the heart coherence can be measured and I'll get into that in a little bit, but our, our hearts are going to be cycling together and our brains are going to be cycling together and our heart has an electromagnetic field. Whoa. that's bigger than the confines of our body. And so it, we, it affects other people when we get into heart coherence and I'm going to guide you to do that too. So we're going to combine all of this and we're going to visualize the world the way we want it to instead of where we fear it's going. Now, one of my favorite people, Dr. Joe Dispenza. So I want to welcome everybody before I get into that um, from Ontario, Nizreen, Bilgen, Anita, the queen of all this. Thank you, Anita. I love that you love and that this is what you do. Thank all of you who are on here. Please continue to share and say hello so that Facebook you know, says, okay, something important is happening and this is very, very important. So a couple other things, what I just wanted to say is, is Dr. Joe Dispenza said, he said this, he said, let me ask you this. If you believe on a gut level that your thoughts create your reality, why would you ever miss a day to create? So our thoughts, we are learning to realize how powerful our thoughts are. And um, Dr. Patswami said, thought is magnetic. Thought has information and energy. Hold the thought for 17 seconds and it's like making a phone call to the quantum field. Think about that. So we'll hold thoughts for 17 seconds of what we want to happen in the world instead of what we don't want to happen. And that's super, super important. We're, when we're in fear, we go to, we're, we're worried about like Lake Michigan, for example, I live across the street from Lake Michigan, I can see it right now. And we've had three spills, uh, like pollution spills in the last couple months, all in a couple week period. And so we know that, that it's getting polluted. So if I sit here and I worry about it and I see it polluted and I see the dead fish that, you know, and I think about that, that's what I'm thinking about. But if I start to see it filled with love and clean and healthy and all the animals inside doing wonderful and people playing in it, then I am taking my thoughts and doing something positive with them. And this is really important when you recognize how powerful you truly are. Now I am a hypnotist and I work with clients and I give my clients a magic wand and ask them what they want before they go into hypnosis. What do you want for yourself? What you want for your session? What you want for your life? And then I incorporate that into the session and I have them stated in their mind to their higher self, to the source that created us. And then I have them visualize it. And remember holding that thought for 17 seconds can really have a positive effect. So if what I've determined along the way is you don't need a magic wand, you are the magic wand. And if we only started to believe that and recognize that, that thoughts are things, thoughts can be pulsed 
Thoughts are magnetic. This is all real and true. This is research-based information. And when we know that, we realize that we don't need a magic wand. We are the magic wand. When we combine thoughts and feelings and clear intentions, guess what happens? Miracles. Or what you don't want depends what you're focusing on. So I'm just going to give a couple more research things to share with you, and then we're going to do the hypnosis meditation. And it's a beautiful, beautiful experience. So my intention today, my intention for being a, an ambassador of, for the One Million Meditators, and I hope you'll join us in being an ambassador too, is to raise the consciousness of humanity and move us forward into love. So that we stop thinking about where we fear it's going and start thinking about what we want instead of what we don't want. Now, there's some really simple, effective ways for you to, to do this besides just closing your eyes and imagining. So if maybe you've heard of, and let me know, if you guys have heard of the HeartMath Research Institute. So let me know, say something at here. If you've heard of the HeartMath Research Institute, if you've ever experienced heart breathing. Now, if you've done this hypnosis meditation with me or any of my Facebook Live shows, you've done the heart breathing. And this is a mind-blowing uh, research that I've got to share with you. So Dr. Glenn Rain is one of the main researchers there. He decided to test healers' abilities on biological systems. And you can be trained in heart coherence. You can be trained. So it's saying, oh boy, did I... Is everything okay? Somebody tell me if it's all good because, um, all right, because something happened. All right, so where was I? So the heart coherence can be measured. And you, when you get into an elevated mood of love or joy or appreciation, that creates that heart coherence and that can be measured and you can get trained in it and you, I'm going to take you with so you can do it. You just got to practice it. But since it can be measured, that's super cool. So he had healers hold on to a vial of DNA. So the first group, he had hold on to a vial of DNA. And they were told to get into that heart coherence, that elevated mood of love or joy appreciation, and see if it somehow would affect the DNA. And that group, it did not. So a second group, he had them hold a clear intention of winding or unwinding the DNA and, and not to get into that elevated mood, not to, just hold a clear intention. And that group did not have a statistically significant change in the DNA either. But a third group that had a clear intention to wind or unwind the DNA and were in that elevated mood of love or joy or appreciation, when they combined those two things, the DNA was wound and unwound up to 25% in some cases. This is with thought and feeling combination. So in order to produce an intended effect, and today's intended effect is to love the planet, to raise the consciousness of the, of the planet, and we need to set some intentions. In order to produce an intended effect, you wanna be in that elevated mood and have a clear intention. That's how thoughts can be pulsed. Thoughts have a laser-like power when you've got an emotion combined with a clear thought. And when you visualize it, it all comes together. So in just a moment, I am going to guide you guys. And if you've ever been hypnotized or meditate, Great. All I'm going to do is guide you into that focused and relaxed state, like I said earlier. And some of you, I just want you to feel comfortable. So some of you are going to be more visual. Hi, everybody. I love all those bubbles. They're so fun to watch. Some of you, when I have you imagine, you're going to actually see really clear pictures. Sometimes for some people, it's like a movie. For other people, it's like barely even there. And the visual part. Some people are going to be able to hear sounds. Like if I told you to imagine you're at the beach and you might be able to hear the whale sounds and the waters and things. 
other you are not going to be able to hear anything and you want to be okay with that because it doesn't matter just some people are visual some people are auditory and hear when they're imagining and then some people are feelers they're called it's called kinesthetic in my world and uh, and so you could feel the warm sand in, on your feet or feel the sun on your face and some of you aren't going to feel anything and you want to be okay with that that is the key just trust your impressions with a capital T now I'm going to guide you because I believe that it really helps for you to relax when someone else guides you and then you can really have those laser like focused thoughts because that's what hypnosis is it's a focused state it's a focused state of concentration it's a focused state of awareness where your brain waves slow down so I could go on and on but I think that we are going to do this wonderful hypnosis meditation and I think you know that that we can expand consciousness that the research is out and that's why we're doing this the, Dean Radin he they have these random number generators and they're all over the planet and, and they've definitely I hope that you guys can still hear me. It's having a difficult time, but I'm glad it's happening now before. Um, I get into this shoot. Really?